Let's look at how you can make a stop motion video with the app called Stop Motion Animator. Go down here in the lower left and click on the launcher or you can just press the magnifying glass key on your keyboard and if you don't see the stop motion animator just start to type stop and you'll see it and I'm going to click on that and it opens up a very simple program and you can see that I have faced the camera at my keys. I'm going to make a little video about the keys. Read the directions on the assignment because it will tell you some options that you can use. So really all you do on this is you get the object the way that you want it and then you click capture and that takes a frame. Now notice when I move this just slightly because for animation you want to move it. Notice how it has a double image here and that's because it's showing what's called an onion skin picture of my previous picture. So I can adjust this just barely to make my key move and then I'm going to click capture. And I will keep doing that just a few times. It can get boring watching someone make a stop animation video. So I'm not going to make anything too fancy here. But I'll just take a few frames. And then when you're done, you can click this button to play it. And it will show you a preview. Now notice here that I can slow it down if I want to. All that does is make the frames stay on the screen longer. So it looks like my key is moving. And of course I can speed it up. If you speed it up, you'd have to take more pictures to make your video last very long. Again, follow the direction so you know exactly what you're supposed to animate. And then when you're done, click this Save button and give it a name. I'm just going to call this Keys and then click OK. You'll see that it downloads into the memory of the Chromebook. So then what you'll want to do is go over to Drive and click New, File Upload, and that should show you your Chromebook memory. And when that opens up, you will see that video that you just created. So double click that or just click open and then it will upload. And if you go to recent, you should see it show up here in your drive. There's that video. So you'll want to turn that in in classroom, but follow all the directions before you turn that in.